HMS Enterprise has been on deployment for 15 months and it's arrived home to Devonport Naval Base. It's nice to uh, see Plymouth coming back uh, into, into Britain and I'm looking forward to going home, seeing my girlfriend and my family, having some time to myself. The survey ship has sailed more than 53,000 nautical miles across two oceans and six seas. Notably, in August, it was the first foreign warship to arrive in Lebanon to provide critical aid after the explosion at the port of Beirut. I don't think there's anyone on this planet who doesn't want to help other people. So when you get tasked to go and help a city which is in need, such as Beirut at the time, um, watching stores being unloaded, being able to get there within a few days of uh, the explosion to deliver stores support, and more importantly, conduct the survey which helped open up the pathway for other further support and much needed medical support, uh, was a hell of a privilege for our ship's company. We travelled to Beirut and delivered some important medical supplies. We were right next to it, so you could see all the destruction that was caused, buildings damaged, like a thick layer of dust everywhere that still hadn't been cleaned up. So yeah, it was uh, pretty humbling, I would say. Throughout the deployment, Enterprise has established close working relationships with UK partners around the globe. The sailors have surveyed the world's seas, but there's also been a chance for some other activities along the way. We did see that the, uh, this year's London Marathon had been postponed again, so they decided to do it virtually. Uh, so I ended up typing the distance 42 kilometres on the treadmill and just working away from down that. Luckily we had a, a really good ship's company who kept coming down, offering me uh, sweets or, or my favourite Chris and, and keeping me going there. So it's amazing how much of a, a crowd can really spur you on. I did it for the uh, Royal Navy Royal Marines charity, uh, really uh, fantastic charity, support uh, service personnel, families and veterans there as well. It's been a busy deployment. The ship has visited 15 different ports in 11 different countries since it left the UK last year. As it sailed into Devonport, all were glad to be back. <laughs> Throughout the 15-month deployment, there have been a rotation of crews on HMS Enterprise. At the moment, there are around 50 sailors on board who've been with the ship for about three months. Due to coronavirus restrictions, there will be no families or loved ones waiting on the jetty at Devonport. I'm going to Staffordshire, so it's about five hours away, so usually we'd have all the friends and families. It's nice to see a couple of people um, uh, just on the hoe waving us in. Um, yeah, usually it'd be a big event, so it's sad not to get that, but I think everyone's just happy to be back in the UK finally, more than anything. Despite the lack of loved ones to greet them, the crew were delivered some Cornish pasties to mark the end of an eventful deployment they will never forget. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.